The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to pick up on the member's comments when he talked about corruption in a different sense, and he's talking about Mark Carney. I want to do a bit of a shift here and talk about Jenny Byrne. There is a foreign interference allegation against the leadership of the Conservative Party, today's leader. Well, didn't Jenny Byrne's co-manage or manage his leadership campaign? Didn't Jenny Byrne's lobby with lob laws? When lob laws, when was lob laws, when did lob laws acquire uh, Shoppers Drug Mart? I'm wondering, Mr. Madam Speaker, if there's something that might be there and we should follow the Conservative lead, ignore the Constitution, and let's just ask for all the information we can get and advance it to the RCMP and say, RCMP, we want you to take this information because there's a lot of concerns about foreign interference and we believe the leader of the Conservative Party is corrupt. Member for Sherwood Park for Saskatchewan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Just, just, just parenthetically, I would say to the member, if he's going to make things up, uh, at, le at, least, at, least, at least get the names of the people he's making things up uh, about correct. Um, but but you know, to, to his ridiculous allegations, I, I would simply say this. This member understands that the, that the government, the exercise of executive power by the government, uh, requires certain particular conflict of interest protections. Because in the exec exercise of executive power, uh, you have access to information, you have access to decision-making authority that is very particular, and this is why there have to be those kind of conflict of interest protections. Uh, the, the, these, these kinds of protections have to be in place, and this government has completely failed uh, to put those protections in place, and this is what we are rightly critiquing with uh, carbon tax, Conflict of interest, Mark Carney. Here, here. And, uh, the Honourable Member for Barry Innisfil and the Honourable Member for Ark. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I do want to go back to Mark Carney, who absolutely loves the carbon tax. He's acting in the shadows right now of this Liberal government. Uh, we're hearing about contracts, uh, $10 billion. We're hearing about uh, other, other uh, contracts that he's uh, trying to get from, from this Liberal government. Acting in the shadows, not being open, not being transparent. We actually seen this before. Dom uh, Dominic Barton uh, was a special advisor to the Prime Minister on Finance in 2017. McKinsey ended up with $120 million in contract. Uh, how important is it that Mark Carney be held to account? One. I thank uh, my colleague for that, that excellent question. Uh, look, this is indeed the application of the kind of McKinsey model uh, to, uh, to now uh, to, to, to Mark Carney, right? Uh, and this is the model where you have very close relationships uh, between elite insiders and the government. Uh, those relationships uh, may not be defined in traditional ways that trigger traditional conflict of interest mechanisms, but they are nonetheless close relationships that allow these insiders to have access to power and also to benefit personally and to have their company benefit. So we, we, we saw this with uh, Dominic Barton at McKinsey uh, and how uh, Mr. Pickersgill, who was the leader of Canadian operations, was both the one supplying analysts to the government uh, for work on the Economic Growth Council and was selling to the government, able to drive up McKinsey's take from the government. It's the same model for the last nine years, benefiting well-connected insiders at the expense of the common people.